Hi guys, welcome to Kara's house. Today uh, we've got a review on the five ISM saddles I rode. So let's get on with the video and we can see my thoughts. Okay, so the first saddle I rode was the PS 1.1. It says here it's an ideal time trial or triathlon saddle. So let's see what I thought about it. Just finished my second ride on the PS 1.1. Um, just over 60 kilometers. My first ride was 100.3. First ride, um, I took out the allowing key, stuffed it up my shorts, just to play around with the position. Obviously on the internet, um, you hear that you've got to set it really far back because um, you're basically sitting on this part rather than this part. Um, I put it back about where I thought. After about 30 kilometers, um, I've got Num Nub and I've never had that before. Um, this is my previous saddle, the uh, Specialized Power um, in a 143. Uh, I just found that hurt my sit bones a little bit, you know, I'd be quite in pain. And also uh, where my hamstrings attached to my pelvis. Uh, this one's got the little hook on, you can see, uh, for hanging it up for your triathlons. Um, the PS 1.1 is the original road saddle, I believe. Um, at the moment, I've got some, uh, just some fabric on the rails, so I don't damage it in case I need to return it after trial. So, uh, back to the first ride, 30 kilometers, num knob, um, angled it down a little bit. So I maybe thought it was too high, that's why, so I just angled it down. Um, that seemed to do the job. Sometimes you can't feel it, sometimes it feels like you can't take the pain anymore. Um, but now I've got off the bike, I can't actually feel any discomfort when I'm sitting down at all. Whereas I used to not be able to sit down on the, uh, on the specialized power there. Not that it's a bad saddle, just as you know, saddles are quite personal. Um, it looks quite set far back, as you can see, but I'm pretty much sitting dead in line with the uh, with the seat post. And one thing I noticed about this one is it's got a little kick up. Um, that actually, when you want to go backwards, it feels like it's stopping you slightly. And it's actually nice in the climbs. I like this saddle for climbing so far. Um, I've been up quite a few hills on my 162 kilometer uh, combined ride now. So um, this time what I did before I went out is I made sure the rails were level, dead level. Um, and that makes the saddle kind of flat and then kick up at the back as you can see. Um, I, when I first rode it this time, it felt like I was way too far back, but after probably 10 kilometers, it kind of felt better than the first time. The first time I felt I was too cramped up. Overall, not bad. Um, again, this ride, quite, quite uncomfortable to start with. Then I forgot about it for probably 20, 25 kilometers. And then for about 10 kilometers, I couldn't get comfortable. Um, so what I did is I actually sat back up onto this hump um, rather than being on the nose uh, just get a view there rather than being on the nose um, I probably went back up to here somewhere I'm thinking I'm not sure um, just to shift the pressure off of the uh, bones it is only my second ride as I said so I'm probably still getting used to it the second saddle I rode was the PN 1.1 it's much more a uh, flat profile, as we can see. First time I've really had a flat profile saddle like that. Um, it answers the call for a softer option in the performance narrow line. 40 padding, which is 10 more than the previous saddle I tested. And it's a great choice for riding in thin triathlon style shorts. Um, in this video, I'm actually just record my legs for some reason. Um, but the commentary is 
worth listening to. Let's check it out. Okay, so I've finished the ride on the PN 1.1. Um, a bit better than the uh, performance short. Um, next one is the 3.1. Um, sometimes the 1.1 uh, you wouldn't notice it, sometimes it's painful as hell. Um, not really sure. Um, if the saddle height was the right height, but I started to get a pain just below the back of my knee into the top of my calf. Um, so I called the ride off early. I did 75k. Um, I don't want to injure myself testing out new saddles. Not too bad. Probably better than the performance short, but um, still quite painful. Uh, Sometimes, yeah, as I said, you don't even notice it. Sometimes you can't even sit on it. So, um, that is it for today. Thank you. See you next time. The next saddle I trialed was the 3.1. I actually really like the look of this saddle. It's it's um, really nice on the eye. Um, it was new in 2018. It introduced uh, more padding. For riders who prefer slightly softer ride, 120 mil rear. Um, let's see how I got on with it. Hi, welcome to Cairo's house. Well, I've just finished my ride on the PN 3.1, and I won't lie to you, uh, it's not going well. It's almost like they just make torture devices in different shapes. It's not. It's just not, I'm just not getting on with them. I must just have stupid shaped sit bones or something. I can't get a good position. It's painful as hell. The enjoyment of cycling is diminishing. You know, I, it's like I can't even be bothered to go out because I know it's going to kill me. But I've got the recreation models next, which have got more padding Um and they're wider. I just, I can't tell. I just can't get a good position. I move it back, I move it up, I move it down, forward. If I could tilt the yaw on it, I'd probably try that as well, but no. Sorry. I'm just being honest. It's, um, it's not going well. Uh, 30k in, I moved it back. 60 in, I moved it up. Um, it's not good. Not good at all, I'm afraid. Fortunately, only two more saddles to go. Uh, the power saddle's looking uh, favourite. It's just up here. I might have to go back to this one. You know. Okay, the next saddle I tried was the PR 1.0. It's a replacement for the previous Century model, for those of you who had it. Um, it is about to reset my expectation on comfort. It's comfortable, apparently. So let's see how I got on. Back in the shed. Just been out on the PR 1.0, 50 padding, ISM saddle. Um, did 51.4 kilometers. Haven't been out for a ride for ages, just thought I'd jump on it and uh, see what I could do. Um, thoughts on the saddle? Um, not too bad. Uh, a bit painful because um, I haven't been for a while, I'm assuming, but uh, I reckon I could have carried on if I'd have wanted. Maybe not to 100, but I could have carried on for a little bit more. Uh, this is, I'm going to say it's the best one yet. Uh, a lot more padding than uh, the one previous ones I've tried. Probably the best one at the moment. I've got it set up like that. Found myself shifting around on it, forward and aft. Maybe could have been a little bit further forward. I'm not sure, slightly, but, but um, nothing too major. 
Um, I'll keep riding these and uh, keep reporting back. That's a quick video. We'll see you for the last saddle on the next video. Okay, so the last one I trialed was the PR 3.0. This is a beast. I think it was the heaviest um, in my previous uh, video on these. It's an update of the Typhoon. It's 145 wide and it's the widest model. Great for uprights. Most padding has got the 60. So let's see how I got on with this one. Hello, welcome to this part of the ISM saddle review. I've just finished a 55.3 kilometer ride on the PR 3.0. Um, and I've got to say, that's not bad. It's not like pain free, but it's a lot better than any of the others that I tried. I'm not sure if it's because I'm actually sitting up on the wide bit now, as opposed to trying to sit down here. Um, I'm not sure about that. I'm going to have to take that out again. Um, that's the best one, I think, so far. Uh, I don't know what to say. It may be, yeah, as I said, it may be my position. Um, uh, further back. But... Um, that's really good. I'm quite impressed with it. So that was my experience uh, riding ISM saddles. Um, overall, I don't think they are for me, although the Performance Recreation 3.0 uh, definitely was the best one of the bunch. Probably the Performance Short, the first one I tried, was quite good as well. So I think for me, the Recreation followed by the Short and then the narrow the narrow were just a, a nightmare for me it's like sitting on a razor um clearly i'm not designed to have oh they've got a new one look uh, i'm not designed to have a performance narrow uh, some people i know love the 1.0 but no performance narrow not for me performance recreation definitely was the comfiest since i've um finished the ISM reviews. I've actually gone back to my power saddle and as if by magic, I think I've just put it exactly in the right place because I'm quite happy with it to be fair. But I'm glad I did do the ISM um, review. Thanks for watching. Um, got any questions, leave them below. Like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Tell all your friends and we will see you on the next Kairos House. Take care, bye.